Hello traders, this is Gary Odom with TestedWisdom.com. Today presented me the opportunity to explain to you the SRT like I've never been able to explain it before. Uh, this morning when I got up before market opened, this is pretty much the screen that I saw. Uh, last night, about uh, right in here, no, this is 1,600 hours, pardon me, 1,800 hours, then along comes where we are here. Monday, 2,300 hours. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I should have just looked for the red arrows. Uh, the market started down around midnight last night and started coming down, and I thought maybe that, you know, it might make a little recovery. I saw it come down here and hit the moving average and move back up. And this that was at 8 o'clock this morning. I thought maybe it might just keep on going up for a while. But uh, as it turned out, let me move this over just a tad bit. It went up and then we got a big signal here real quick like. Incidentally, I did a little something that I often do for market open. I changed my moving average on the uh, TWIT, the uh, index trader. I changed it to 30 SMA rather than a typical 44 or 50 SMA because I want a little bit quicker response time for the moving average. I could just turn the moving average off, uh, but it's easier just to shorten it up and uh, go ahead and get signals and help eliminate some of those signals that really don't apply. So anyway, we had this come up. Uh, I wasn't watching it when it happened. I had looked at the earlier how the, how price was going up. And of course, this you know this is early in the morning, and and I'm not with the program here. It's about eight o'clock. Market hadn't opened yet. It's already started down. I'm doing other things. I don't often trade market open. And later, I saw that what a wonderful thing happened as far as the SSRT. And let's talk about the SRT. It was formed on this candle back in February 28th. Uh, I noticed that on some of the other indexes, it was on February the 21st, it formed it. As a matter of fact, on all four indexes that I trade, this SRT line was down there and all four of them responded to that level. It's amazing. I'll show you the, the, the chart in a bit with all of them on there. Uh, but this one seemed to turn quicker. So anyway, I used it. And so price came down, and as you know, this day was a big loser in the day, one of the biggest days of losing. Uh, unfortunately, I was doing other things. I did not get in and make the trade, and that often happens to me, particularly on Monday mornings, because I pretty much ignore the market. But I didn't ignore what was happening here. When I saw how price hit this SRT down here, and immediately respected it. The very next bar it opened up and start kicking back. I was totally amazed at just how effective that zone was. So obviously it kept going up and look, it formed another one. Wow, what a time to enter the trade, right? And you know what? I would, except I made a rule. I'm not going to trade against the index trader. Now, that being said, there are a lot of people who use the SRT alone to trade, and they're doing quite well with it. I have my trade plan. I follow my trade plan. I don't know how many of you have written in to me where I've responded. I say the first thing you do is you develop a trade, a trade plan, and then you commit it to writing. If you cannot commit it to writing, you do not have a trade plan. You must be able to commit it to writing. And once you do that, Follow it to the letter. Do not deviate. It will eliminate those gut trades. It will also help you play the odds, which is part of this game, so that you can have a repetitive system and have more success in your trading. So in any case, enough of the lecture on the trading plan. Uh, price went up and then turned back down, and then it's starting to respect this zone again. This was the entirety of the day. From here at 900 hours and then uh, the next hour of course it's two hour bore no it's an hour bore so we're looking at 930 of course that's 
Eastern time. That's what I use here. Uh, and down he came. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Uh, would have been a good opportunity to trade if I traded market open, which I don't. But the main thing about this video is to talk to you about the SRT and just how wonderful it is to know that this is going to be a zone of importance long before price gets there. So you don't have to panic and wonder about maybe how far price is going to go. So it did hit, it respected, it came back and went back up. Now I told you I was going to talk to you about the other symbols. And a will. And here they are. Uh, here we have the ES. Here's the zone. It's a single line, but it's still created way back here somewhere. Uh, and it penetrated the zone pretty deeply, actually. But still, price turned and came back up, made another uh, bully zone, and then continued to respect that zone. So even though it went through it, and it might be because there was only a single level here that was presented. As you can see on this one, there was a double level presented. It also penetrated, but not as far. And it came back rather quickly to actually penetrate through the top. So um, this one was a little bit quicker on the draw. Uh, that's the, the Russell. And this is the, uh, the NQ here. And you can see it respected it immediately. It turned and went back and created its own. And guess what? So did this one. You know, here's the zone here. This one was created like a week later than, say, the one on the YM. This one was created, I think, on February 21st. And I think this one was the 28th of February. So this one's still good. I mean, there's another one here, but it's already penetrated that one. That's history. Now we have to look at this one. And it came down, it penetrated, it did the same thing. One extra bar, but not of great depth. And then it started coming back up, created its own uh, bully support zone again. And here we go. So here we have five index, uh, pardon me, four indexes. And they all responded pretty similarly to that same signal. That's consistency that you do not often see in any study or any indicator. I was so proud to see that happen that I just had to share it with you. That's all I have for today. A very short video, but I wish you the best in trading. And check us out, testedwisdom.com. We're there. We got a lot of stuff on the website. And, uh, you know, check us out. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the other side.